Hey there Dev Squad, Vertus here and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up a player health system inside of Unreal Engine 4. By the end of this video, what you're going to have is a player which is going to be able to run around, but most importantly, you are going to have a health bar displayed on the screen which is linked to a variable that you can very easily manipulate to control this player health. We are going to be breaking this video down into three parts. First and foremost, we are going to be setting up the initial variable for this player health system. Once we've gone and done that, what we're then going to do is show you how you can set up the user interface element. So that is creating a widget and then having the progress bar put onto that and dynamically linked to that variable that we created. And then lastly, the last bit that we're gonna be doing is showing you how you can take away the player's health. So if they wanna take damage, we're gonna show you exactly how you can code this. Now this system is gonna work in any project that you have. It's not specific to a course of ours, such as the FPS series or the RPG series. Just apply the logic to your project and you're good to go. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so now we're inside of Unreal Engine, the first thing that we're going to do is create a brand new project where our player health system is going to be implemented into. Now, if you do have a project of your own already, that is definitely something that you can take advantage of. Now, for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to be doing is creating a simple third person project using blueprints. And then in terms of the settings here, we're going to be using desktop maximum quality with starter content and we're going to give this the name player health once we've done that what we're going to do is simply go ahead and hit create project now this can take a moment now like i said you can use your own project and this is something that you can add on to your existing blueprints adding player health into your video game is relatively straightforward it is just a process of implementing variables and working with those variables to make all of these happen. Now, the first thing that we're going to have to do is we are going to need to find somewhere to store variable information. Now, this variable information is just going to be the health. And because this is player related, what we're going to be doing is placing this inside of our player blueprint. So navigate to your blueprints folder and then open up your third person character or whatever it is that you are going to be storing this inside of and using for this. Now with this done, what we're going to be doing is creating a variable. Now a variable is pretty much simply just data. It is information and this information can change. Now we have different variable types, which are essentially different types of information. Now what we're going to do is give this the name health. And then for the variable type, we're going to be setting this to a float. Now, there is two types of variable that you could use for this system. The first one is an integer, and the second one is a float. Now, both of these are numerical values which you could use. An integer, however, only works with whole numbers. Floats, however, they do give you access to decimal places. And the way that the UI system inside of Unreal Engine works as well is it works with floats. So if you're using a float, it is much better to use a float instead. So go ahead and select a float. And then before you can put a default value into here, we are going to have to hit compile. Now with this variable, what we can do is change this to any number you want. Now the way we're going to be setting up this player health system is our float for our health is going to be going from 0 to 1. So 0.5 would be 50%. 0.75 would be 75% and so on and so forth. Now then, because we actually want our player to start with 100% of their health, we are going to be setting this default value to 1. And with that done, the player now has health. Now in terms of actually displaying that on the screen, that is something that you're going to have to do. So what we're going to do to make all of this happen is we're going to jump into the next section where we're going to be covering the UI element of a player health system. So incorporating this into your UI is relatively straightforward. 
All we're going to do is create a widget blueprint, which is going to store a progress bar, which is essentially going to be a health bar. And then with this health bar, it's going to be moving backwards and forwards. And this is essentially just going to be linked to that variable that we just created, which is a dynamic piece of information. So what we're going to do is right click in our content browser, go to user interface and create a widget blueprint. We're going to give this the name HUD and HUD simply stands for Heads Up Display. And this HUD is going to be storing all of the graphical information which is going to be displayed on the player's screen. So if you have something for a health bar, it would go on here. If you have something for sprinting, it would go on here, ammo and such. Now, we're not gonna be creating all of that in today's video. We're simply gonna be focusing on the health section. Now, what you could do is take away what you've learnt to go ahead and create those other features. So the first thing that we're going to do inside of this widget is simply create a progress bar. Now this progress bar, essentially the way that it works is you can fill it up going from zero to one, which is why we're working with floats because it is basically going from 0, 0 to one and it uses those decimal places. If that value for our health was an integer, it would not work well with the system. We would have to do a lot of conversion. But for now, this is it. Now, inside of this progress bar, what we do have is a couple of options. First and foremost, at the top here, we could change the size so we can make this bigger or smaller. So what I'm gonna do is actually make this a little bit bigger. And if you zoom out, you can see how much space this is going to take on our screen. And then with this done, what we're gonna do from here is we are going to anchor this to the bottom left hand corner so it always stays in that position. Moving on from there, what we're then gonna do is set our fill color and opacity to red. So instead of changing to blue, it's gonna change to red, which is a little bit more commonly associated with health bars. And what you should have is going to look exactly like this. Now with this done, what we now need to do is actually focus on the element where we're going to be displaying this health. So we've got our progress bar and we've got our percentage. At the minute we can hard code it, but if we create a content binding, so create a binding, and with this what we're going to do is simply communicate with the character blueprint that we used earlier. So the way we're going to do this is by casting to that blueprint. So cast to our third person character, which is the blueprint actor, which contains that variable that we created earlier on. And then as third person character, we can simply access the variables within that. So what we can do is get health and then simply just hook this up to our return value. So now this progress, the percentage here is going to be dynamically binded based on this binding that we just created in blueprints. So having said that, it's gonna take the information from health and just feed it into there. Now our object wildcard is typically going to be the owner of that. Now the character is a type of player character, so we are simply going to get the player character and what we should have looks just like this. Go ahead and hit compile and we're good to go there. Now with this health bar, it's contained within this UI widget, however, by default, that is not going to be displayed on the screen. If you want this to be displayed on the screen, what you need to do is open up your third person character, and then we're simply going to be loading it onto the memory and then adding it to the player's viewport. So what we're gonna do is find some blank space within the event graph in our third person character, and then what we're gonna do is use event begin play, and then from here, we're going to be creating a widget. And then the class for this is going to be our HUD. Now, like I said, this create widget is essentially going to create this object and it's going to load it onto the memory. But before this is actually displayed on the screen, we have to use the blueprint node for that. So we are going to add to player screen just like that. And we're not gonna worry about these settings unless you have to. Now, if you have code already inside of your character for your begin play, you would simply just add this onto the end of your begin play sequence. Hit compile, hit play, and what we should have now is our health bar in the bottom left. And as you can see, because we have got full health by default, it is going to be completely full. Now, if we were to go into our third person character, change our health from 0 0.1, 
from 1 and change this to something like 0.5 and then hop into the game again, you are going to see it is now adjusted. So now it's time to move on to the fun part. We are going to be showing you how you can add and remove the player's health. So, for example, you could take away what you learn in this next section to create things like bullets damaging the player, fire in the environment and alike. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the next section. Okay, so this next section is going to show you how you can work with your variable data to add and remove player's health. So what we're going to be doing is simply creating a little object in our scene which can either remove the player's health or take away the player's health. So the way we're going to be doing this is by creating a widget blueprint. So the way that we're going to do this is by creating a blueprint class and we're going to be using the type actor and we're going to be using this and we're going to be giving this the name damage player and then with this we're going to open it up and what we're going to do is simply create a box collision and when the player walks through this box collision what it's going to do is simply take away the player's health. Now this is going to be more of a proof of concept. Now what I mean by that is this is going to show you the fundamental skills to actually take away or remove the player's health. What you can do with this is then apply it to your own gameplay mechanics that you have created for your game. So with this box collision what we're going to do is go to our event graph and then for our box if we go ahead and get a reference to this and then create a begin overlap event what we can do is when the player touches this, then we are going to change that variable data for the health. Now this begin overlap is just an event and you can use any event that you so wish. For example, if a bullet overlapped the player, you could go ahead and work from that if you wanted to. But for me, for this system, we're just going to be using begin overlap for this little box collision. The other actor is going to be our cast to third person character and as you can see, as third person character, we can now get access to that information. So what we're going to be doing with this then is we are going to be getting the health and then from here what we're going to be doing is reducing this, so taking away from this health variable. Now the way we're going to do this is by setting our health, so as third person character we are going to set health and then we're just going to hook this up to the execution sequence. And then with our health, what we can do is a whole bunch of different maths functions. So what we could do is float plus float, we could do float minus float, and we've also got some multiplication as well. But if you want to take away from this value, all we're going to do is float minus float. So what we're going to do is, as you can see here, A minus B. So the original value is going to be A, which is our health and B is going to be how much health you want to take away. So let's say we wanted to take away 0.3 of our health, we could go ahead and do that. And that is pretty much it for reducing the player's health. Variables are incredibly simple. And if you want to learn more about variables, I definitely advise you go ahead and check out my blueprint series, the link for which is in the description. So with this done now, what we're going to do is go ahead and compile this and then we are going to bring this into our scene. Now what we're going to do is simply just place this at the top of the stairs so I know exactly where it is. And now if I go ahead and press play and I run over that, as you can see my health went down. So as you can see, run into it and the health has gone down and that is pretty much everything for our player health system working. Now what we could do is duplicate this blueprint actor and I'm going to show you how to add health and it's pretty much exactly the same thing. So what we're going to do is heal player and then we are going to drag this into the scene just behind it just like that. And instead of doing health minus health, what we're going to do is float plus float instead. So having said that, all it is doing for changing the way this health system is going to work is simply by going in and just changing these values. So what we're going to do is health plus 0.5. So if we walk over this, it is going to add 0.5 health, which is 50%. Go ahead and hit compile, hit play. And as you can see here now, walk over the first bit, it takes away our health. 
walk over the second bit and it adds to our health. So that is absolutely everything for our player health system. You can do a hell of a lot more with this if you want to. Like I said, it's just a matter of adapting the gameplay mechanics and your blueprints to fit your game in particular. If you do want to learn more about blueprints, then definitely go ahead and check out my blueprint series in the link in the description. But for now guys, that is everything. As usual guys, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.